Wonder, which is adapted from R.J. Palacio. R.J. Palacio. Palacio's uh, novel of the same name, which I haven't read, um, uh, by director and co-writer Stephen Chbosky, who is best known for doing the perks of being a wallflower, which I like very much. So... If you remember in the room, you had Jacob Tremblay, who is the young kid who is imprisoned in the room. Why in in room. In room. Yes. In oh, sorry, this is a show in which I'm going to be doing this all the time, isn't it? it? Because it's literally we've been talking about the room, and now we're talking about room. Yes, there's room, and there's, and there's the room. room. Please yeah. don't confuse. That's right. Yes, in room. You're tearing me apart. Lisa. In room. Jacob Tremblay, thank you very much, uh, plays uh, the, the young son who is imprisoned with his mother, and it's a brilliant performance. So here, I think he shines equally as August Augie Pullman, who is a young kid who has dreams of space travel. He wears a space suit. He wears a space helmet. He's fascinated by science. And until now, he's been homeschooled by his mum, played by Julia Roberts, played rather brilliantly by Julia Roberts, largely because um, his young years have been overtaken by numerous surgeries resulting from a rare genetic condition, um, which has been described as Trichy Collins syndrome. So now he must face school for the first time as a fifth grader, which is already a tough call, but made all the more difficult by the fact that he looks, in his words, he looks different. And uh, so at the very beginning, we're introduced to his parents taking him to the school gates for the first time and sending him off into a world which they know is going to be difficult, which they know is going to be potentially hostile and hoping for the best. Here's a clip. Now, I got to stop here because past this point is a no dad zone and you don't want to walk up with your parents because it's not cool. But you're cool. I know I am, but... Technically, most dads aren't, so and neither are these helmets. Hey, two rules. First, only raise your hand once a class, no matter how many answers you know, except for science. Crush the whole. Check. Second, you're going to feel like you're all alone, Augie, but you're not. Check. Should we lose this? Costumes are for Halloween. Prepare for blast off. I love you. I love you too. Owen Wilson and Jacob Tremblay from Room, not The Room. Thank you. Yeah, in Wanda. I'm so sorry, and I will carry on doing that. So we then see that there's this moment when Julia Roberts, this is in the trailer, in which Julia Roberts says, dear God, please let them be nice to him. And he goes into school and inevitably some are nice and some aren't nice. And so he experiences bullying and befriending in kind of equal measure, but he starts to make his way in the world. And at the beginning, the film starts off being about how, um, you know, how Augie deals with all these difficult situations that he's facing. And he knows that people are looking at him and looking at him. He's different and, you know, sniggering behind his back. Some people are scared of him. Other people, you know, befriend him. But then what happens when, you know, that's that's kind of well done. But then what happens is the narrative starts to fragment and we see events again from the point of view of different characters around him. So, for example, we see the world from his sister's point of view, who feels that she's effectively lost out on attention from her parents because they have been so focused on looking after her brother. We then see the story from the point of view of the mean girl who was a friend of the sister and who then for some reason suddenly decides that she's not being friendly anymore as they move into the next phase of life in school. But we see from her point of view that everything is not exactly as it seemed. What the story therefore does is it looks in this kaleidoscopic fashion at every single character involved uh, in the unfolding narrative. And it does it with a great generosity of spirit and a great um, sort of openness of heart. And it's very, very careful to never reduce any of the characters to a sort of to a single trait. So even even the bullying characters, we start to see the world from their point of view and we start to see how all these different stories are intertwining. Now I know that can sound trite and it can sound like, you know, like maybe the, you know, the, the film is doing that sort of feel good schmaltzy thing. I think the thing that's really admirable about it is it's a film that plays to your heartstrings. It wants to move you. It wants to sort of touch you emotionally. And it did. I laughed and I cried and I cried my body weight in tears it, because the film works. The film does what it sets out to do. It sets out to emotionally engage you. But it also um, manages to be more complex than it may look like being from the outside. And 
we were talking before about the idea of films having a decency to them, films being about the, you know the, the decency of, of of the spirit, actually actually having a proper you know humane spirit to them, and it's a very difficult thing to get right on film because films can trip so easily into what Jonathan, we were talking there earlier on about inappropriate schmaltz and inappropriate sentimentality. In the case of this, I really thought it didn't. P partly, I think, because the performances are really good. Julie Roberts and Owen Wilson are great as the parents. Uh, Isabella Vidovic as uh, Via Olivia, the uh, Augie sister, is, is really terrific. Jacob Tremblay is an astonishing, a really astonishing screen presence. I mean, you know, this young kid who I, you know, I hadn't seen before Room and was so brilliant in Room, and here, um, you know, plays the role really well and really you, you kind of get the sense of his emotional. I hate to use that phrase, emotional journey. And having gone into it, um, you know, not knowing the story, having just seen the trailers, thinking you know that perhaps what we were going to get was you know was was particularly sentimental. It wasn't like that at all. I was I thought it was made with. And I, I say this I genuinely, I thought it was made with real heart and uh, a really delicate touch. I thought it was really funny when it wanted to be. And there's many moments of laugh out loud humour. Some great sort of thumbnail sketches and Mandy Patinkin as the uh, very avuncular school principal. Mandy Patinkin, yeah, you'll kill my father. He's <laughs> prepared to die. Um, and he, and he's, he's really good in it. And it's, you know, it's a number of performers of a wide range of ages, all of whom are given the same, they're imbued with the same sense of importance and the same sense of that what's happening in their world is important because it is what's happening to them. I was very touched, very moved. I laughed and I cried. And that was exactly what the film set out to do. And it did it.